Hey everyone, Chris here. Thank you very much for tuning in. Today we're taking a look at this gaming mouse. It's called the Compatter Wing. Right here on the packaging we have a, looks like a Phoenix logo. Spinning around at the back, we have a schematic of the mouse. Plus it's identifying all the different buttons on the mouse and it will, what the functionality is. So let's go ahead, open this up, and take a closer look at the mouse itself. Inside of the packaging we have an installation CD. We have a multi-language instruction manual. And then we have the mouse itself. So one of the things I do like about the mouse is that the cord, it's one of those braided cords as opposed to just the, uh, the plastic slash rubber type of cords. And I wasn't actually in the market for a mouse, but I saw this online, it was only $20. I believe I bought this at Amazon, if memory serves me correctly. Uh, but it was only $20 um, and it just looked so cool I had to get it even though I didn't need a mouse at the time. Uh, I got used to using weighted mice uh, and this does not have the, uh, the weights on the bottom. But this whole bottom here is metal. So that actually helps with the weight of the mouse itself. Uh, in regards to uh, the, I guess the feel of the mouse, it's, uh, so I said you have the metal bottom there. Uh, you have this uh, flat matte black coating, almost like a rubber coating. Feels really nice on the skin. Uh, buttons, you have your left and right mouse buttons. You have your middle mouse button underneath the scroll wheel. Uh, you have here on the side, we have the fire button, uh, they said a sniper button, and then over here is a screen key, which I'm not entirely sure what the screen key is at the present time. Maybe after we get the software installed, it will start to come together. And then here we have the, the DPI settings. Oh, right here is the forward and back buttons. And I can tell you, I've used this for a little bit before doing this review. And the placement of the forward and back buttons is really awkward because when you have the mouse in your hand, you get your fingers up here on the left and right mouse buttons. If you actually use the forward and back buttons, you actually have to get your, put your, uh, pull your hand fingers off the left and right mouse buttons and then come back or come down and click these buttons. When honestly, I, when I try that, most of the time I'm missing them. So uh, yeah, the placement here, a little awkward. And then of course we have the mouse speed control right here and you don't have the option of going forward and back or up and down on the speed. You cycle through all available speeds. So if you're going too fast you want to slow down you essentially just have to keep on going faster and faster and faster until you come around back to the beginning to the slowest speed. And then okay, of course we have, well not of course, but in addition we have this button right here, which I believe is for the, the, yeah, the color selection right there. So let's go ahead and get this plugged into the computer so we can take a look at those colors. All right, so looking at the design of the mouse, uh, you see, you can actually kind of look, look through the mouse. Um, you see some springs in here, uh, and plus there's some gaps so you can see through it. So that's one of the unique things about the mouse that or the, the design, I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. I should, you know, pick that up. Um, one thing to note is that there's these little bits in here, Allen bits, uh, that you would think that if you screw, plus with this spring, you're like, maybe we can adjust the uh, the size of the mouse, the look of the mouse by working with those bits. But honestly, I think they're just there for aesthetics. Um, I tried tightening this up and loosening it up to see if this would spring out or spring back in, and it really didn't move. Uh, and honestly, it, it sounded like it was starting to crack, so I'm like, maybe I shouldn't really test that out any further. Let's just leave it as is. Uh, so there's that. Uh, spinning this around at the bottom, here is that button that adjusts the colors. So let's go ahead and cycle through those. All right, so there we have the blue. And you can see it does. it's not a solid blue, it's, it's a, a breathing blue, so it gets dark bright, dark, bright, so on and so forth. Uh, press it again and it's off. There's the blue again. Oh yeah, and there's um, so there's clear or 
No, maybe it's a yellow. That's red. Green, blue, yellow, red. And I'm, it's a guess on that yellow. It could be just a, a white light. Uh, it looks more white in here, where it looks kind of might be yellow down here. And that's another thing. It seems like you can't turn the breathing option off. So you're not going to get that solid color, it's just going to keep on going from light to dark, light to dark. Uh, and for me, that might be a little bit distracting, so I'll most likely just leave it off entirely. So there you have it. For $20, it's really not that bad of a mouse. I mean, I am on the fence as to whether or not I'll actually use it and replace my existing mouse. Um, it mainly because, well, it's nitpicking. I, I don't like the back and forward buttons. Uh, maybe if I customize those buttons to do something else, it won't be that much of an issue. Um, but yeah, that's just weird placement. Other than that, I in the pictures I saw online, it looked really nice. Uh, the metal chrome aspect of the, the mouse right now might be a bit much for me. I prefer that maybe this was all a solid uh, black as opposed to having all these uh, chrome parts showing. And another thing, again, just nitpicking, is that uh, we have s silver, we have black, we have red. Um, and then down here on this the thumb padding, or the thumb strip, whatever you want to call it, uh, we just have this strip of blue. I'm not exactly sure what the why they chose blue it just doesn't it seems weird i mean i guess if you change the the led color to be blue then that wouldn't stick out so bad uh, but it, i guess it is what it is it's just me nitpicking about it uh all in all if you're in the market for a, a mouse it's not that bad again not sure if it's going to replace my regular mouse but it does definitely does look cool so thank you very much for tuning in. Please remember to comment, like, and subscribe. And until next time, we'll talk to you later.